In today's tip, I'm going to show you how to make bar charts with rounded edges, like this one that I created for this week's Makeover Monday. So in Tableau, I'm connected to Superstore, and I'm just going to build a simple bar chart that shows sales by subcategory. And I'll go ahead and sort that in descending order, and let's maybe fit it to the entire view. Now, my idea is I want to just kind of create uh, little edges on the ends of these to round them off. I'm going to start by putting the labels on, and I'm going to go ahead and match them to the mark color and maybe make them a bit bigger, something like that. Okay, and maybe just for simplicity, I'll just filter down to uh, maybe just one category. Okay, so now we've got something like that. Oh, let's make it two. I want a few more in there. Okay, there we go. So what, uh, what you need to do is I'm going to just double click in the column shelf and create a calculation that is the average of zero. Now I could make it sum of zero, it really doesn't matter. But the trick is to take that field and put it on top of the sales axis so that you get a uh, combined axis chart. Notice how the two rulers are green. That's going to give you a combined axis. Now what's happened here is the sales, the sales field that was on my columns is now measure values and Tableau has automatically put measure rows, uh, I'm sorry, measure names onto the rows shelf. So what I need to do now is move measure names to, uh, well, let's just leave measure names there for now. I need to change my mark type to a line and you'll see we get something kind of funky like that. But now the trick is to take measure names and put that on the path shelf. Now from here, I'm going to go ahead and turn off the marks on the ends. Oh, sorry, not, not on the ends. I want to go ahead and on my labels, I'm going to just label the end of the lines. Uh, sorry, it looks like it's doing it the other way around. And I'm going to go ahead and align those to the right and to the center. So now I've got something like that. And if I just increase the size, you'll see I now have nice rounded charts. Now the issue is we have some cutoff here on the end. So um, you can either manually or, uh, you know, I could take uh, maybe the, uh, uh, yeah. So for the, just for this example, I, you could use reference lines to make that fit a bit better. But for me, I'm just going to stick the end, uh, let's say, let's make it 370,000. And I'm going to, yeah, so that gives me a bit of space. Maybe we don't need it to be quite that big. Okay, there we go. Or maybe 365. So that fixes my uh, my right end, and then my left end, I want to be a bit closer to zero, so let's maybe make that uh, minus 5k. Okay, a little bit too much, so let's 10k. You get the idea, so you can clean it up nice and neat. So I'm going to go ahead and remove my axis title, and from here, what I would do probably is go into my format menu uh, and remove all of my grid lines, so remove my zero line so I don't, so I can kind of hide that from the users, get rid of my axis rulers. And lastly, if I want, uh, you can either decide to show or hide the header for the axis. And there you have it. That's how you create a line chart with rounded ends. So why don't I go through that one more time in case that was a bit too quick. So let's build a new sheet. And this time let's look at uh, segment and uh, maybe let's do segment and region something like that. So we get 12 values here. I'm going to put sales on the column shelf and I'm going to do my little nested sort, which is a great new feature I like. Set it to entire view. And again, I'm just going to, in my column shelf, I'm going to put the average of zero in there. Drag it on top of the sales axis to give me a combined axis view. Change my mark type to a line and move measure names to the path shelf. From there, I increase the size to as big as it gets, and I can either choose to show or hide the labels on the ends of the lines. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed this tip. Have a good day.